meeting new people, and living an adventurous lifestyle far outweighed the likelihood of anything bad happening. The plan was to hitchhike from this gas station to a place named Hersbrook, where she could then complete the remaining 23 miles by train, before her father could pick her up from the train station. And that was the plan, at least. But Sophia... she never showed up. National Criminal Police Organization, and finally, to the North Spanish Police Department. At long last, Spanish police would finally begin their search for Bob, and although he wasn't necessarily a suspect, he was their best shot at understanding what exactly had happened to Sophia. But in a sudden turn of events, they would find him without even trying. At approximately 4.30 on Tuesday the 19th of June, a fire was reported outside the Spanish city of Yen. The cab of the semi-trailer truck was burning heavily, and that truck belonged to Bob. The Spanish police would eventually find him, where they would then learn that Bob was a fake nickname. His real name was Rajima Lamrabat. Rajima claimed that his truck's engine had been damaged, and that this is why it had suddenly burst into flames. But either way, investigators were interested in speaking to Rajima. Mainly for Sophia's sake, but now also due to the truck. They took him down from here, walking towards the blue truck. And by 7:47 p.m., the two had stopped in Berg, located in Upper Franconia. Vajima and Sophia are seen entering the Shell gas station, where they then bought coughless, and Sophia was nowhere to be seen. By Friday evening, Vajima had crossed the border from Germany into France. He stopped a further six times in the next day, before eventually stopping at a rest stop in Claude of southern France. Due to the Sunday driving ban, Bajima remained at this rest stop for 24 hours. If only the police had taken Sophia's case seriously in the first 72 hours, as undoubtedly they would have had a good chance to locate him during this period. But there was even still a probability that Sophia was still alive. And, at least to begin with, both he and Sophia had got along very well making great conversation. But after reaching Spear Best Best, everything changed. While he was cleaning the truck's mirrors, he looked through the window to see Sophia searching through his belongings. This enraged Bajima, and in response, an IQ test of only 81. Savage. But the judge wasn't the only one to deliver serious shade that day. Bajima accepted his sentence in silence. He then added that, as soon as he is a free man again, he won't ever go back to his family. And when asked what about his children, he shook his head and said, they have a mum. Following Sophia's death, and due to the progressive mindset that she had for migrants, far-right supporters and anti-immigration campaigners began to use her name in protests to reveal the irony of her death. This was against the wish of her family and her friends, and caused great frustration for those who knew and loved Sophia, who would then react with equal force back. The police would also take a hit to their reputation, and both police states would admit partial failure for not taking Sophia's disappearance. She was positive, tolerant, progressive, and she loved life. With her heartfelt honesty, tireless passion, and her openness, her social circle was huge. She met many like-minded people along her journey. Beautiful son, do you want to come? I went, yeah, I'll come with you. That was the biggest mistake of my life. shopping centre in Bootle is uh, probably the only shopping centre in Bootle actually. It's, it's uh, been there since 1966 I think. I was actually the beat officer for the Strand for about a year so I got to know all the shops and all the set out of the Strand really well. Square mile with a 
Touch my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Then I created a 3D camera in After Effects. But in reality, this is how the shot actually looked. <laughs> Cutie.